How are you doing guys, Zara here. So I'm not too sure if I'm excited or maybe I'm disappointed. So we unsurprisingly and finally got an announcement that Red Dead Redemption is coming. And that's also including the Undead Nightmare. I'm very glad about that. But the thing is what makes it, well, weird that it's only coming on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. But thankfully it's coming very very soon on the August of 17th, so it's like in 10 extra days and we finally gotta get our hands on this experience. It's genuinely gonna be exciting, I'm definitely looking forward to play this game finally on my PlayStation console, but yet it's just, like the question is, wait, what about the rest, right? What about the rest of the platforms? What about PlayStation 5 console, the next generation upgrade? What about the details in terms of the performance and improvements? And you know what? I wanna read out the statement coming straight from Rockstar themselves and regarding what they were even doing with the situation because mind you, this was not developed by Rockstar. Fuck. Anyway, let's get into it and it's, uh, hopefully it's good news, but we shall see. Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare coming to Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 on August 17th. Experience the epic western adventure Red Dead Redemption and the groundbreaking zombie horror companion of the Undead Nightmare, as both games come to the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 for the very first time in a single package. In a new conversion by Double Eleven Studios. Now, I wanted to mention, uh, I actually looked up Double Eleven Studios and you can see what they actually, well, the games that they have made uh, previously. Obviously, Red Dead Redemption, Fallout 76, oh man, that is scary. And they mentioned that they were working on Bethesda games with the Bethesda Game Studios to craft new and exciting challenges for the world dweller everywhere in Fallout 76. So perhaps maybe they were like more or less like a support studio for Fallout 76. They also made Minecraft Dungeons. They mentioned that they have partnered with the uh, Mojang Studios to optimize for PS4, Xbox One and Switch. Well, well, okay, that's good, I guess, right? Crackdown 3, it's not a notable game, supported as a co-developer responsible for the Windows 10 Store version of the campaign and Wrecking Zone online PvP modes. So you see, other than that, there's nothing much else. Oh, well, perhaps maybe I should include like Little Big Planet PlayStation Vita version. They mentioned it's the fourth game in this popular franchise was a co-developer with uh, Tarsier Studios and the ex-dev Sony Europe. So yeah, unfortunately, they don't really have like a very, very solid track record. But I want to say and give them props that I think that there still might have been better choice comparing that if we're doing a comparison between Grove Street games and them themselves. But we will, of course, have to see what they've got in store for us. All right, so let me continue with the statement. Now, they mentioned that there's been, well, a new conversion by the Double Eleven Studios. The Switch and the PS4 version brings the two classic experiences together again for both new players and original fans to enjoy across modern consoles, including backwards compatibility with the PlayStation 5. Well, okay, one of the most critically acclaimed games of all time with the over 170 Game of the Year awards, Red Dead Redemption tells the story of the former outlaw John Marston as he journeys across the sprawling ex expanses of the American West and the Mexico to track down the last remaining members of the notorious Van Der Linde gang in a bid to save his family. Relive or experience for the first time the event immediately following the epic tale of honor and loyalty in the 2018 blockbuster Red Dead Redemption 2, as Martin hunts down his former friends and outlaws Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela, and his former gang leader Dutch Van der Linde, as the era of the cowboy comes to its end. Red Dead Redemption on the Nintendo Switch and PS4 also includes Undead Nightmare, the hallowed story expansion that reimagines the world of Red Dead Redemption as Marston fights to survive a relentless zombie horde and searches for a cure in a spooky supernatural twist of the western genre. In addition, both classic single-player experiences newly supported languages including, for the first time, simplified and traditional Chinese, Korean, Polish, Brazilian, Portuguese, uh, Russian and Latin American Spanish. Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare will be $50 on Nintendo Switch, eShop and PlayStation Store, with physical release arriving on October the 13th. Add Red Dead Redemption to your wishlist now on the Nintendo eShop and PlayStation Store with the 
to receive a notification when it becomes available. That really is it. So, <laughs> oh man, you know, there was not even a mention regarding of a 60 FPS patch. Can you believe this? Like, I mean, this genuinely is a concern. And because, mind you, this is coming on PlayStation 4, even though you will be able to play this on PlayStation 5 due to backwards compatibility, it does not mean that you're gonna have an unlocked frame rate. But also, I actually think this might be not available with the 60 FPS patch because, mind you, this is not a remaster. This is a pure port. Oh man, $50 for a pure port, and you don't even get the multiplayer. Mind you, did you know that, guys? It was confirmed like there will be no multiplayer, but thankfully, it will include an Undead Nightmare. Physical release arriving on October the 13th will be $50 coming, of course, the game itself on August 17th. No native PS5 version or the Series X version. It's just genuinely like a question after question. Like, what was the decision here? Why did they make this decision? What's going on? Now, also, while I was recording this video as well, I've actually found some extra details regarding Red Dead Redemption, and this is coming from Video Tech X. He also shares some of the screenshots from Red Dead Redemption that were captured on PlayStation 4. Now, obviously, it does seem like it has like a visible LOD improvement and some texture upgrades for sure, and they genuinely do look, well, good. But uh, it's just a question is, will it support the 60 FPS? Because I looked through the official uh, Rockstar site on, on YouTube and stuff like that, and the trailer itself does not have 60 FPS. So, okay, fine, maybe they made the decision to make it more cinematic and maybe more towards immersion style, and that's why they made the decision of not having a 60 FPS, uh, you know, support for this trailer. But also it kind of makes it raises so many other questions. Is this going to have a 60 FPS or not? Like, I'll be honest, I really want this game to have 60 FPS. That's the main reason why I'm definitely looking forward to it as well. Now, being that it is just simple as a port and not even a remaster, I'm worried. I'm genuinely am. I'm excited that I finally get to experience this on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. But yet I'm also worried, like I mentioned. And that a fun thing as well that this game is not on PC and it's still not going to be coming on PC. It's like, what is going on? Like, I didn't hear there's some problems so that Red Dead Redemption had in terms of its engine and that Rockstar like ha had a hell of a time of making this game, not in a good way as well, that they barely could even make it run on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 consoles. This is the reason why they never even bothered porting or making a PC version of this game. And it seems like the trend will pretty much continues. And now, there were a lot of hopes uh, that maybe this game could get like a resolution bump, textures bump, and of course frame rate bump, but then you could just say that this is a remaster. But yet they made the decision not even like including that. But also there's some, well, hopes were for the remake, right? Because like it would have been possible to do it because they already had the engine upgrades and everything from Red Dead Redemption 2. So they could have ported some parts of, uh, from there to here. But yet again, because this is not Rockstar who has developed this Red Dead Redemption. Well, unfortunately, you, we should not expect like substantial improvements or additions towards this Red Dead Redemption game. You know what would be the best thing to do? is and i'm gonna have to say it unfortunately we're gonna have to wait do not pre-order this game do not trust this wait and see what you think when it will come out it's only 10 days you can wait please do not pre-order this game don't be fooled by rockstar or take two with this port because since this game was outsourced once again like it was previously with the trilogy definitive edition this should not be made a same mistake by so many other people. If this port, if this game becomes genuine again, like a very bad port, I guess, right? <sighs> Rockstar, oh man, what have you done? Anyway, guys, I guess I'm looking forward to this game, but yeah, fucking disappointed for sure. All right, like and subscribe. See you guys all. Have a wonderful day.